aftercare changed me, my life completely. I learned a lot of things I didn't know about Jesus. Twenty Five Forty operates preschools and aftercare programs in various parts of South Africa, and Nabakazi came in through our aftercare program in Kanzibe. And what that program is about is bringing children in uh, after school to offer them tutoring, to offer them nutrition, to offer them counseling and various services, but most importantly, to to bring them into the fold of God. My name is Nabakazi. My surname is Nombekela. I was raised by my granny in the presence of my parents. They didn't support me. My sisters and my other brothers, they support them. When I ask things, they say, yes, we're going to support you, this and that. When the time comes, they don't keep the promises. It was not easy for me. My granny, she is not having a lot of money, but she tried by all means to support me. She is treating me like her biological daughter. By coming here to the aftercare, that's where my life started to change. After I know Jesus, I didn't behave like the others. I know what is right, I know what is wrong. Other kids were saying, oh, grade 11, it's very hard. But I, I didn't see that. It was easy for me because I was studying very hard because of the influence of the aftercare and also the teachers. They encouraged me. Those encouragement were driving me to move forward. Next year, I'm going to university or college. Now, I'm still assisting the aftercare as I am the product of Africa and Identify Ford, so I'm very proud about that. You know, one really cool thing about Nabakazi's story is that uh, it's stories like hers that's going to actually lead to the demise of 2540 existing in her community. Why do I say that's a good thing? Because our role isn't to be there to, to simply um, pour into a community with resources. Our role actually is to try to raise up leaders like Nabakazi and others who can come through and make this community self-sufficient and, and lead themselves. <laughs>